Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. It is late here. Today's video, we're gonna be talking about something that just was announced by the CEO of Microsoft on X. It is called GitHub Spark. Now, the announcement came in about an hour ago and it seems like people were hyped about it. Now, if you're not familiar with lovable.dev, lovable.dev is a platform that allows you to create apps and websites using natural language like English and such. So it's very similar to the concept of Spark. There's also ones like Bolt.new, there's also Replit. There's several products on the market today that provide the same exact service. One of the most important things about GitHub Spark is its direct integration with GitHub Suite. So you can create a repository easily, you can create databases easily, you can publish it easily. So you have an all-in-one platform that allows you to develop small scale apps without the need of integration with multiple cross websites. So this makes things much easier for no code users. And from what I understand is it can actually add any integration of AI into your app direct. So whether it is summarize things from your website, summarize users, summarize different aspects, you can add integration of AI into your app. And we're gonna see this in a bit. And if you'd like, you can open a code space or open it in VS Code and continue developing using Copilot Agent. Now, previously, when we used lovable.dev, it's a very well-known concept. You start off at Lovable, build the app, and then pull it in to Cursor. The proposition that GitHub Spark has is you no longer need to use two platforms or two memberships or two subscriptions. You can use it under one subscription and it's $40 a month. They are trying to package Copilot Pro as an all-in-one solution where you can use it in VS Code and use a no-code platform like Lovable together in conjunction to build your full stack apps. Now, who's this for? This is for people who do not want to code at all. They want an all-in-one platform. They don't want to deal with having multiple subscriptions. They want a single platform that allows them to build their apps fully without any friction. This means you no longer need to have Superbase for your authentication, your database. You no longer need Lovable to build the first MVP and front end of your product. You no longer need a cursor subscription in order to start developing your app inside of an IDE to add a bit more details, a bit more complexity to your app. And you don't need Vercel for deploying and hosting your website. All of these are different subscriptions and different costs that you would have had to incur in order to build your full stack app. Now, access is restricted to plus users and you know I had to get plus and pay the $40 so I can try it out today with you guys so we can you know, start building some fun stuff. So let's create a website together and figure out what we can do. So I have always wanted to build something like this. I want a minimalist journaling web app, for example, called MindMuse using React. The app should have a journaling page where users can write entries and such, and I want it to be AI powered. So we're gonna try to leverage that single AI integration that they've been talking about, you know, concise summaries with mood detection and such, and follow up journaling prompt suggestions. So we're gonna go ahead and then click enter and see how Spark works. Spark is gonna go ahead and start thinking. There is theme, there's data, there's prompts and there's assets. I'm really interested to know what you guys think about Microsoft did and the step they took in order to enter this market. Okay, so it has generated the front ends here. Now, this is something I haven't seen before that I like. It is called suggestions. So Spark is able to suggest things that you can add into your app to enhance it. So here it says add mood trend visualization, implement export function, add journaling prompts and guided reflection exercises for inspiration. Now I like this, I'm gonna click on this and then we're gonna add this. Now, after we've added the journaling prompt, Let's take a look at the tabs and what we have on the other tabs. So the theme section allows you to change the overall theme and feel of your app. We can change things like the color, the appearance, and maybe some of the typography, such as the fonts. If you go to the data tab, you have all the entries that we are probably gonna save. If we add the entry into this, save and analyze, let's see what it's able to do. The journal entry reflects a day marked by a mix of moderate productivity and underlying anxiety. Let's see if we can add another entry right here. I like the flow. So as promised, the AI insights has been added, just like they said. While I'm here, I would like to add a positive note. It reflects a day full of accomplishments, new connections, and mindfulness towards enjoying the moment. And then if you click on the browser writing prompts and exercises, 
you can do these answers writing prompts guided exercises go to the weekly part we generate a review here i like this animation here you generate the ai and then this week reflects a thoughtful balance of accomplishment connections so i asked it to add a database and authentication so my users can sign up and log in and save their data in a database okay so we're done with the authentication as you can see you can sign in with github right here and then it will take you to the main page the last thing i want to add is add mood tracking charts and emotional patterns over time visualization now the sign out wasn't working um i had to prompt it three times for it to work that is no problem at all that happens with all the products that are in the market now even cloud code with opus sometimes messes up with larger products and overall the product is good spark is good this is good for people who don't code who are just vibe coding they want to build quick products it is for the user that simply wants to create small micro apps micro software as a service for themselves for their teams and for their neighbors now let's work on publishing it so what if you want to publish something you just click publish and there you go it says live right here so it's live for the internet and any github user can access it if you click on it you have mind muse that's it for the video today thank you so much for watching hopefully you enjoyed please leave a like comment and subscribe by the way i'm on my way to 20,000 subscribers by the end of this year and only you can help me reach that metric I try to upload videos as fast as possible about the latest AI coding agents and vibe coding tools. So if you want to stay in the loop, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications to keep up. Be safe, be well, and I'll see you guys on the next video.